this. The most notable doing such of such maroon communities in North America existed in the Spanish colony of Florida in 1693. The Spanish king officially made this colony a colony of refuge for slaves escaping from the British colonies, although he did not free slaves who were already there. Many such escapees joined the Seminole Indians. The Seminole Indians. Listen to this now. Many such escapees joined the Seminole Indian Nation and thereby gained protection during the period between 1763 and 1783. When the British ruled Florida and after 1821 when the United States took control, it was part, partly destroyed. This refuge was for former slaves that United States fought the Seminole in the Seminole War in 1835 to 1842. And other maroon settlements existed in the South Carolina, Georgia, bank back uh, back country, and the great dismal swamp of Southern Virginia. So you got these Africans here that joined with the Seminole Indians. That's why when by the time, you know, a lot of these European explorers came, they say they seen the red man. That's why we know even Christopher Columbus said that. That's why we know these is uh 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 admixture uh, people. Listen to what it say though, listen. As slaves became uh, at, uh acculturated forms of slavery existed changed to avoid the punishment. Africans replaced and reopened the defense lines with more substitute day-to-day -day obstructionism activities. They were uh, mangled and mingled so that most didn't survive. Broke tools mistreated the domestic hold on, broke to, broken tools mistreated domestic animals and destroyed cops, crops, poisoned their masters and stole and stole and got away with their freedom. Not every slave who acted this way, of course, was uh, consistently resistant against their enslavement, but the masters assumed that they were. In 1770, Benjamin Franklin, who owned slaves, complained to a European friend, perhaps you many images and of the Negroes to be middle tempered and fantastically kind of the people. Some of them indeed were also very rebellious and the majority are, are plotting to dispose of their masters. Dark ceiling uh, masculinity uh, re -vigil hold on, re -vigil vigilance and cruel in the highest degree also brought different escape patterns increasingly the more assumed slaves the more of them escaped most of most of them were who were left on their relied knowledge of the americas and past societies passed as free although they continue continue to be hunted for the maroon settlements most sought safety among the town relatives in North Carolina, the Piedmont, they were also slaves. Now listen, you talk about black people again, that's one. That's the, if you look up the uh, meaning of the word Seminole, it means runaway people. And if you look at the Seminoles, they black people, brown looking people. But you can see they not fully African or not fully black. They Asiatic types, man. That's just period. But so we talking about this is 17 what? 1770s. And that's another thing. The presidents of America all own slaves. All own slaves. Now you could go to the Library of Congress. You could go up to Washington, D.C. and hit some of them libraries. And you will see what we talking about. 
See, that's why I say y'all got to have more field experience and get out here and go to the museums. Cause we, you ain't even been to no museum yet saying what y'all saying, what y'all claim. Cause you go to the museums, they're going to tell you these are African people, bro. Period. Or Afro Asiatic people, which ain't nothing but the same thing. So, but we not the Asians though. Y'all can be. <laughs> Y'all can be. You see what I say? I'm not going to take the little puniest piece of my DNA and try to blow, embellish it and make it bigger than what it really is. And I'm looking. The history of, of the North American is, uh, Indians is, 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 is small. Minuscule at best, man. Minuscule at best, man. But I'm in the book. So y'all better be studying, man. Because I'm coming with all the questions. I don't want to hear nothing about nobody out of nobody's mouth. This shit about the aboriginals. I don't want them about no Africa or none of that because y'all never been before. See, if you been, you can ask me some questions about Africa. I'll say, if I, unless I talk about Africa, ain't no talk about Africa because you ain't never been before. Let's talk about America. And I want y'all to prove that this, you know, y'all, the, these uh, Yamasi aboriginal Indians. And I want to see the, Ab uh, the Indians in y'all family. Don't show me no black people. Show me the Indians. Now, I know you got black people in your family. Cool. Everybody know we black. We black. I don't know about y'all. But I want to see the Indians. Like I showed y'all, Big Red and Auntie Neil. Show me. But see, they way back in the 1800s. They been gone. I don't look nothing like my great, 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 great granddad. Period. Don't look nothing like it. Don't look nothing like it. So, Aboriginals on trial. Y'all better be studying. That's just facts. That just that just that just facts. You better be studying. You better be studying, cause I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm your feelings gonna get hurt. <laughs> your feelings gonna get hurt. <laughs> so, hey, Aboriginals on trial next Friday. Uh, 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 uh was that the twenty twenty first? You see what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all come out there and, and you know get some real information, man. Cause I'm gonna smash you down. Whatnot. Then I'm gonna build you back up. Drop out.